Hello and welcome to a Taxware video tutorial. Today we'll be going over the main menu. We'll be going through a description of each of these buttons as well as the support menu and the messages menu. The basics of the main menu are your client selection. Here we have new client. This is for if you're making a new client. We have the recall client button which will allow you to recall clients from the current year. We have the recall prior button which will bring in clients from a previous year. The e-file status button. This brings up the e-file log, which will allow you to see your clients who have been accepted or rejected, as well as allow you to reprint acknowledgments. We have the batch e-file button, which will allow you to e-file multiple clients simultaneously, as well as change your bank product settings. We have the tax reports button, which will allow you access to reports on your clients, your e-file statuses, a whole range of different options. We have your preparer and ERO setup, which will allow you to change your preparer and ERO information, as well as add new preparers and EROs. We have your defaults and settings, which will allow you to change your defaults and settings. There's many useful options in here. I recommend watching our defaults and settings video to get a more in-depth view of them all. Finally, we have miscellaneous features, which has options for allowing you to back up your client database, for copying clients to new numbers, for enabling and defining the password settings, and for uploading your settings information to the cloud. On the top left here we have the support button which will give you access to several support options. The first of which is the read status. Read status will give you information on whether a particular state is available for e-filing. Next we have check for updates. Checking for updates is usually automatic, but occasionally a support technician will give you instructions to check for updates. We have the 1040 message board, which will bring up our message boards where you can talk to other users and our support staff online. Next, we have a link to the Taxware website, which will open up the Taxware Systems website. Next, we have the Taxware Fast Support link. If you call in for technical support, occasionally a Taxware member may ask you to use this in order to connect to your computer to diagnose any problems you might be having. Next, we have the Taxware manual and the Taxware FAQ. The Taxware FAQ is the frequently asked questions, so if you have a common problem, then this is the first place you should check. If the answer is not there, the manual is the next place you should check. And if that fails, then the message boards or going to the Taxware website to get the contact information, or the contact information that's at the end of this video, is the, the last step in the process. Now that we're done here with the support button, if we look down here, we have the messages on the main menu. These are messages from Taxware to you based on important milestones in the tax season. For instance, this first day to e-file is a message telling when the first day of e-filing was for the 2016 tax year. If you'll notice, the message dates are pretty far apart, so we do not spam you with messages during the year. These messages are important, so do check them when they come up. That concludes our overview of the main menu. If you have further questions, feel free to email us at support at taxwaresystems.com or give our technical support line a call at 1-800-877-1065. We'll see you in the next video, and thank you for choosing Taxware.